Please welcome the next competitors. Veuillez accueillir les prochains concurrents. Representing Russia, Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. This is Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. They got two silver medals on the Grand Prix circuit this year. Alexander Julin is their coach with Pyotr Durnev and their choreographer, Sergei Petrov. Skating to Aaron G by J.S. Bach. Classical. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Yes. Lovely controlled, perfectly synchronized twizzles, fast rotation, close together. Just completely confident and easy for them. Nice difficult exit into that straight line lift. Love their attack and deep edges. You can hear the crunching of the blades. Love the use of their body movements to really embellish every edge that they do. Well executed, difficult stationary lift. Nikita in a sit spin position. I love the entry into that lift. Is that difficult? Very difficult and unexpected. Just to make it look so easy. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. You know, it's interesting, within Russia, there's a real rivalry, rivalry between Sinitsina and Katsalapov and Stepanova and Bukin. For you, which team do you prefer? 
Putin and Sapanova. Tell me why. Sure. I love the way they're perfectly matched. These t this team is very perfectly matched as yes, well. Yes, I agree. Yep. But uh, Bukin and Sepanova kind of just have a little bit more of a X factor for me. Um, Although I love the lifts in this program. I absolutely. thought that was some very innovative and creative lifts. I think their elements are, were great. Their execution was amazing. Uh, those twizzles at the beginning were phenomenal. But to me, this is Aaron G. Like, it, to me, it was a demonstration in very nice skating, just nice music. I think they're a stronger team than that. Uh, again, beautiful, lovely. There's nothing bad to say about it, but I, I could go the rest of the year with kind of not watching the program again. It's just the music doesn't, it's, it's like the movement is memorable. Yes, their movements and everything is like the way they move their body and they accentuate the edges with their body movement is spectacular. But the music is, as the vehicle for this is just a bit... Loses you a little loses bit? Loses me, yeah. It's <laughs> kind of reminds me of being on hold with Belle. <laughs> like it's... <laughs> But again, they're just beautiful. those lifts. There's beautiful lifts. Everything is executed so wonderfully. Yep. So wonderfully. Um, and, and their tack, the way they skate, so smooth, so deep. You don't hear anything except for the crunching of edges, which is just music to my ears. Um, one part of the program that I thought was a little bit odd was the uh, choreograph sequence. It just seemed a little bit flaily to me. Uh, Whereas, like, say, Caitlin and John Luke, their use of building during their choreographed step sequence was really good without being so flashy and showy. We've had a couple of comments come in about music. This one from Atsasio Glass, who says, Phantom of the Opera needs to go. Music isn't that great for skating, and it's been done to death. People sh should also stay away from Moulin Rouge for a bit after Virtue Moyer. Really, we should retire Moulin Rouge after Virtue Moyer. <laughs> and no more feeling good or summertime either. <laughs> it's, it's quite the I, list. Yeah, I, feel, I, I agree with feeling good. And actually, that can Their go. season's best, the free dance. Oh, wow. 122.47. This is a season's best, 124.04. With a total score of 201.37. Victoria and Nikita are currently yeah, in first place. Beautifully skated Avec program. With a total of 201.37, they are currently in first place. You know, I think the wow factor was in the elements. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly in that Again, their dance. execution is impeccable. Please Everything they did the was wonderful. Just the music for me. Representing <laughs> United States of America.